AMR, antimicrobial resistance, is, as I said, a priority for us in the Commission and it's an explicit priority within the health programme. And that means, in practical terms, that in the last uh, five, six years, we've been spending about, on average, two million euros a year to support action on AMR. So, how have we spent that money? Well, we've done a couple of studies on what's behind the, um, what we call inappropriate use. Secondly, we've worked with uh, other major organisations to help them do further work that they wouldn't otherwise do. One example is with the OECD, the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, and they've, uh, with some funding from the Health Programme, developed uh, an economic model which allows countries to predict how much it will cost them to do certain actions to tackle antimicrobial resistance, how many lives they will save and how much money they will save. And we're very pleased with that investment. Uh, and the third thing uh, is the joint action on AMR and healthcare associated infection. So we put in from the health program um, a substantial funding, sounds a lot, 4 million euros over three years, but in fact, considering there's 500 million European Union residents, that's less than one euro cent each. So we have to be very careful, very clever with how we spend that money to make sure that it really is spent well and makes a difference. And on the evidence that we've heard after two years of the joint actions working uh, in this building in the last two days, um, really I think there's some very encouraging results so we're very pleased uh, with that investment. Well AMR is a global issue and it's a One Health issue. We need to all work together to tackle this problem together because solving it in one place will doesn't solve it in another place. I would say the EU is possibly one of the most proactive on the global stage. So we've been very active in supporting the global action plan on antimicrobial resistance. We in the EU help to coordinate member states uh, thinking and that in itself helps then to influence global thinking. The new European Commission uh, with the President Ursula von der Leyen, she's highlighted in her letter to the new Health Commissioner designate that she would like to see as part of the next five years action by the Commissioner um, further work at global level to advocate for global agreements, not only on the use of, but access to antimicrobials, with the intention that people everywhere in the world can get access to effective antibiotics, which haven't become useless through antibiotic resistance, when they need them, uh, when they need them for the right reason. We have some very good examples within the EU of countries which have already reduced antibi unnecessary antibiotic use both in, uh, in the healthcare and in farming and agriculture and who've also dramatically improved the infection prevention so that people are not catching so many infections. The first thing that the joint action is doing is trying to share good practice between the countries but it's not as simple as just knowing what another country does it has to be adapted every country is different and you need tools to adapt and tools such as what the Jan Rai is trying to do tools to create action plans tools to create guidelines 
tools to create frameworks for implementing, how do you incentivize so-called antimicrobial stewardship, i.e. the care of antibiotics by doctors, nurses, patients, hospitals, general practices. These are the, the very practical things that the joint action is doing. Um, so the sharing experience, the creation of tools and good practice to really enable uh, the take up of that experience and the dissemination of the results and the working with partners including with organisations which are not originally part of the joint action which, which want to help tackle antimicrobial resistance whether the pharmaceutical companies, nursing organisations doctors' organisations, students. I mentioned that the total investment is one euro cent uh, per European. And so we have to think of the action like seeds. Um, a few seeds can turn into a tree which can then have more seeds and you can eventually have a forest. And this is what we want to see, the fruits of the joint action coming, being transplanted across Europe, growing and regrowing and transplanting, and spreading out a culture of good practice, which will enable Europe to become a best practice region and make it really safe for Europeans to go into their hospitals, to go into their fields, to go into their general practices and their schools and so on, and not be in fear of catching a highly resistant infection.